it's the end of the month and you realize you have an extra $500, you have two options. One, blow it on retail therapy. Two, double it. We'd say the latter sounds better. It's right about now that you start getting skeptical about us selling you a Ponzi scheme two minutes later into the video. We understand your concerns, but I have no book or course to sell you. But I will discuss some legit methods on how to turn $500 into $1,000. To begin, you'll need, surprise, surprise, $500 and persistence. Let's get started. How to flip $500. You've heard of flipping clothes and electronics, but did you know you could do the same with money? You start with a certain amount and double or triple it based on what you choose to do with it. Here are some of your options. Sell clothes on Poshmark. If you've won the thrift store jackpot, you're in luck. You don't need all the coach bags or Ralph Lauren sweaters they have in stock. Instead, you can sell them to make money. Start with $500. Go to a thrift store you know is stocked with high-quality clothes and accessories and buy as much as you can for this budget. We suggest looking for trendy items. For example, if baggy clothes are all the hype on social media, buy them. Or if the influencers have shifted to pastel-colored workout sets, look for them. You want to sell the stuff people are currently looking for. Then there are some staples. These are items people buy regardless of what's in trend. Some examples are mini black dresses, boots, chunky sweaters, leather jackets, sweatshirts, and so on. After you've shopped, go home and set up a Poshmark account. Listing items is free, so you don't have to pay anything up front. Take pictures of the clothes you've bought and list them on Poshmark. Price them in a way that you can make $1,000 or even more. For example, if you've thrifted a bag for $30, sell it for $60 or $70. You might think, who'll buy something for double the price? But keep in mind that not every locality is blessed by the thrift store gods. Not everyone even has access to thrift stores. Also, the retail price for these items is always higher than what you're selling them for. So there will always be customers. Poshmark is not the only platform. You can also use Mercari and Depop and Facebook Marketplace. Rent out equipment. If you have an extra $500 lying around, you can use it to buy a piece of equipment that you later rent to make money. For example, you can buy a drone, USA Today has a decent list of drones you can buy for under $500. A lot of people need drones for one-time use, which means spending $500 is not a wise investment. So they rent it instead. That's where you come in. For a price of $50 per hour or day, you can rent out your drone to people who need it. Alternatively, you can also buy camping gear. Tents, sleeping bags, and cookware are some items you can rent to occasional campers. You can also rent out bikes, musical instruments, tools, film and photography equipment, electronics, etc. Rent My Equipment is one of the many websites where you can list your items for rent. Sell limited edition or popular items. The key is to buy products that popular celebrities have worn or popularized. Similarly, you can purchase limited edition items and sell them for a higher price later. You might have to stand in long lines or be early for online drops, but it will be worth it in the end. Invest in stocks. If you have some know-how of the stock market, invest your $500 in stocks to make a profit. You'll have to be very careful with the stocks you choose or you'll lose your initial $500 too. Stock trading platforms like Charles Schwab, Fidelity, and Ameritrade do not charge a commission fee. You can start investing for free. If you prefer investing apps, Robinhood is another option. Robinhood also lets you invest in fractional shares. Let's say a company's stock costs $800. Instead of buying the full stock, you can just buy half of it. Lend your money. Peer-to-peer -peer lending has become quite easy now thanks to tools like Prosper. You can lend anywhere from $25 to thousands of dollars to borrowers for a set interest rate. 
All you have to do is give your money to the borrower. Then you'll earn interest on it, depending on the duration of the loan. Although you won't have access to your money during this time, you'll end up with a good sum at the end of the loan period. It's a bit surprising that most people don't consider $500 to be a big enough amount to start their investment journey or online business. But there's so much you can do with $500 to multiply your money. So start flipping your cash for a bigger payday. But before you do, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, let's do it.